Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1, and welcome back to part 18 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African unit, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, we did a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, we are pumping out the culture. We have science out the butt. We have those free workers now, thanks to the master control. And we are slowly closing in on nanopasture, as well as... If we can get down to the mobile LEV, we will get to 10 purity and go ahead and get ourselves upgraded battle suits. So before that happens, what we want to do is build as many battle suits as we can. Let's go ahead and pump out more battle suits. Finish the first one, get them in position, and one in Ayan done as well. Sorry, the LEV plant. Go ahead and build more battle suits there. Let's see if we can't build all of the battle suit needs. As for you, little guy, what to do with you? One thing I want to do is buy actually this tile out. Go ahead and build a node over there. Um, whoever is close to being able to do it. At any rate, we got a worker here who's not doing anything. We'll just send him to sleep after setting him out here. And get our battle suit that much closer. We want to pull our soldiers out to make room for possible battle suits where we want them to be. get our guys just to fortify other than that. We have the fiber done here. What to do now? Uh, we could acquire this tile. Give Bongani a little bit more production. Not opposed to that. It's not a half bad idea. And get this guy to go to sleep as well. Pretty much free, so they don't cost us a dime. Alright. Send this guy over this way, and we'll send him to sleep as well. As for this worker, we can get him out here, and we'll have him build a node next turn. Give us that silica, and next turn, here we go. We have the crawler coming out in Janali in just 12 turns, uh, which is just an excellent, excellent, excellent wonder to have when you're going for that uh, wonder your endgame wonder. Nothing is too small. Nobody is insignificant. The biggest trees grow from the smallest seeds. There we go. We got nanotechnology, which gives access to the nanopasture, one of the best buildings in the game for late game growth. Grow lab done in Bongani. Uh, it's probably wise to grab the Xeno Nursery at this point, as Bongani is growing oh so quickly. Gene Garden done over in Xerxi. Let's go ahead and grab the Xeno Nursery or the Alien Preserve. Oh, the Alien Preserve. I like the culture. In four turns, we will have Magnasanti, and Unhealth will be a problem of the past. It'll be gone. I think it's probably wise to go ahead and grab Mobile LEV now, as we're going to have all of our battle suits ready, probably within that time frame of eight turns. At least I hope so. We've got three coming just so shortly, and then we have another three to build. We should be okay. This worker's all done. Send him south. These guys can just heal up where they are. Let's get our soldier out this way and build ourselves a node. Go ahead and build a mine and just put this guy to sleep. We have a manufacturing coming in four turns. Incidentally, the same amount of time until we are pretty much done with this manufacturer here. So one thing we might want to do is actually shift Janali into just hyper production. Um, we have 16 people here, which is fine. I don't think it needs to be that much bigger. We have the workers here, and we will have the health, certainly, in time. So, maybe we want to swap these academies out for manufactories. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to decrease our health temporarily, get our trade convoy out here, and we just want to kind of maximize Janali's production. So this is a great trade route here. We're going to be sending pretty much all of our traders to Janali for production at this point. Uh, Alright, so worker here, where to send him? Probably out to Janali, and either have him build manufactories or sleep or do something. Quest. Alright, so this is the LEV plant quest. You can either get two energy from them or two production. Production it is. Hit me up with those six production buildings. And our first battle suit in a yawn is done. Let's go ahead and build another one. We'll station this guy near Huanlei. 
And, you know, honestly, we can probably get our troops ready for invasion. We're gonna be at war with the PAC shortly. I'd put a six turn count on it if I couldn't put it on anything else. Well, this marsh is actually kind of impeding my ability to build the node, so whatever, we'll just have it built anyways. This worker can head down to Janali and pass out if it wants to. Ten turns until the crawler's coming. Tama, uh, no, no war with him. Just the PAC. Just our mortal enemy for the better half of like 400 years. And Cap has finished the nanothermite. That's gonna be, it's gonna make her incredibly hard to fight. But I don't think we're gonna need to. Hopefully, our battle suit will be down, and we'll be ready to go. Four turns until Magnasanti. The countdown is just, ah, it's eating away at me. Make sure this timer's going. I tend to forget that. All right, so this worker, where to put you? Uh, let's go ahead and build this manufacturing as well. And this worker, what's a bad tile? We don't actually have that many bad tiles. We could go ahead and build it on this mi on this hill over here. Um, and make it definitely a better tile, and we can keep some of our farms in the progress, which I'm sure Janali will need to support its monumental 16 population. One more battle suit done and gone. Let's build yet one more, and one done in Tabo as well. These guys are going to be insanely strong very shortly. One more battle suit. All right, there we go. And that's going to be all of our titanium, and hopefully that's all we'll need. Five of these incredibly strong units against the PAC. I think we stand a chance. All right, this worker here. Um, I'll just put him to sleep. He's okay where he is. One more trade convoy out of Janali. Again, we just want to maximize Janali's production. Nothing else really matters. This worker. Um, we can send these guys up here. Probably build mag rails in that direction towards Tiangong. And get this battle suit just kind of sitting here. And this academy is done for Bongani. Very good. Let's see if we can't go ahead and buy another tile and put an academy or something up there. We'll do that next turn. So we've done this in the past. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it in case we need the petrol to replenish a another what do you call them? Hollow matrix. It really did go all out on the hollow matrixes. I'm honestly glad. Yeah, we needed that culture per turn. I'm very disappointed we didn't actually ever get our Institute quest. We're on turn 250. No Institute quest. Which would have given us the Soma Distillery for, and that, that'll tech for another 5% culture. And the Terra Vault, which again, also quests for 5% culture. So in total, what is that? 25% culture? We could have had better culture and be in the green now. But, you know, we relied on an Institute. Maybe we want to build another one? Yeah, we'll build another one. I forget if it doubles the quest chance rate when you do that. Um, I don't know if it does, but let's get our battle suits in position. And Bionics Lab here would not be a bad idea. Long-term health guaranteed. Alien Preserve done in Xer C. Let's go ahead and grab the Xenofuel plant to fund these battle suits we have coming out. Get all these guys in position. Maybe we want to have our range units up at the front line, right next to these guys, like that, yeah. Maybe right here, there we go. Rough squad just to chill. Yep, there we go, Clone Echo just sitting in Xerxe up there. And here we go, uh, we wanted to build an academy here. What to do with this guy? This farm is done. Uh, we could probably just set him up right here. And maybe tell him to build a bio well. I'm not actually opposed. We do have the economy for it, and it'll give us a little bit of health if we want to work it. Not a bad idea. And we wanted to turn this guy into a manufacturing. We have a lot of manufacturers popping up in Janali very shortly. 
we do intend for this to be an insanely high, crazy population, uh, sorry, crazy production city, which it very quickly is becoming. It, all, it already has 96 production, and first manufactory done. But just like that, we are just two turns away from Mog Nasanti. You know, we don't, we can't actually war you yet. We need five more turns, buddy. So we won't. But you know, you will be annihilated when we do. Fair warning, bud. Fair warning. Alright, we finished our battle suit in Tabo. Time to go ahead and build the Grow Lab or the Bionics Lab. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say the Grow Lab. Get our battle suits that much into enemy territory. Alright, so we finished the... Removing the farm there, sorry, the forest. Go ahead and get us another farm and get our battle suits just fortified. Actually, this was kind of a mistake. We want the white demons right there. It's a good spot. And we have one more battle suit coming out in Magan in just one turn. Trade convoy here. Uh, can we send it to Janali? Janali will gain five production. Yes, there we go. That's what I want. Janali now has 102 production. Crawler is coming super quick. And... Yeah, that looks good to me. I don't think we need... Um, we could probably swap some of these farms out for more... Uh, what do you call them? Manufacturers. Let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to grow any more in Janali, but I don't think that's the point. I think the point is to get all of these manufacturers up. 102 production. That is insanity. As for you, what to do with you? We do have this hill to build on. No downside in doing that. I think this Guardian, actually. We could probably get him in position to help out on a strike on Juan Le when our battle suits are rough and ready for full-on invasion. Which I'm looking forward to. It's going to be very, very good. I just hope this calculation of 32 points into purity 10 is correct. Alright, so let's get this last battle suit up this way. Because when we war you, you ain't gonna survive. Alright, let's go ahead and swap. Jeez, we actually can't get this guy back. We have a lot of density. Our unit density is just that high. Alright, let's move these guys this way then. I wanted to move this guy out so we can get all battle suits on the front line. And we'll get this uh, battle suit right up here. So we have a complete wave of battle suits right there. And right, just like that, Magna Santi, straight from negative, what was it, 8 up to positive 9. Thank you, Magna Santi. And we can now build the nano pastures everywhere, which will help us grow into late game just that much more. Trade convoy. Uh, do we have? We already have. Did a Janali run? Are we trading with Lolly Bell anymore? Oh, Gong Ren's a thing down here. Uh, we might want to wipe that out. Not too worried about that when we do declare war on the PAC. But this is a good. This is what we're previously doing, and it, it's actually not that good. Uh, so maybe we want to swap it for something that's better for Ion. All these just basically give the same yields. We can give Magan better yields, though, so why not? Get our mine going. And next turn. Two turns remain. Until we hit Glorious Affinity level 10 with 4 Harmony. Will the PSC be able to stop us? I do not think so! We're going to have Super Soldiers very soon, and it's going to be impressive. Still making really good culture per turn. Alright, this mine is done. Oh, I'm going to tell these guys to sleep. Not a bad idea to have just guys all around your territory. The King's Protectors. Oh yeah, that is so badass. Oh my goodness, look at this. Space Defenders, Unyielding Defenders, Dashing Ones, Avenging Wolves. So cool. I love this mod. Just for the flavor of it. So yeah, we need this. Just to upkeep our holomatrixes. 
We have the Crawler coming out in just four turns. Janali will be unstoppable production-wise. I love this massively tall city right here. This is so cool. 102 volts. New, sir, sorry. Anytime we could get an Institute quest, that would be dandy. Processing the alien turn. How much could that? Oh, okay. The best way to survive a firefight is to be elsewhere when your enemy starts one. Just like that, we hit affinity level Why 10. Why your breath articulating a morality that was disproven with eloquence and foresight centuries ago on old Earth? We barely hit affinity level 10. We have one point in it. And just like that, we got four upgrades. Super soldiers, let's do it. We have plus 20% when flanking or 40% when not extending unit. We're going to be rolling in large waves. So you know what, let's get that 20% when flanking. Punisher, we can get, why not get plus 20% when attacking. And the destroyer here, uh, I don't think it matters. And the bastion, it really doesn't matter. That super soldier though, 66 combat strength. We have... Institute done in a yawn. Let's go ahead and grab the nano pasture. And we have the xenofuel plant done in Xerxe. We can also grab the xeno nursery. That's just good for science. And I think, you know, if it's not going to give us it for free, even though we've built so many institutes, we could try teching it, but eh, it's just not worth it. Maybe we go transgenics instead and get the gene smelter online, which is lower cost. I just wish we could get that guy for free. Um, in the meantime, I guess we can go organics and try to grab biofactories in places. But the war with the PAC is good to go. We are a go! We are a go invading the PAC! This is for all the trouble you've caused us in the past, and it is now time to repay that debt. I did betray my word. Do you think I care? Do you think I care? Oh my goodness, 66 combat strength. LOL. Super soldiers. Get some. Get some. That is so cool. Alright, let's roll on in. Oh, that is their battle suit. Oopsie. Probably take that guy out real quick. See what we can't do with white demons here. I kind of just want my battle suits to roll in, so you don't maybe want to do some bombardments from needle jets. While they still have these 24 combat strength battle suits. Yeah, these are not doing that much damage to us. That's basically just a free walk in at that point, so you know what? We can just send this evolved battle suit in. Um, or maybe we want to move up that way. I think this is probably the best option. Eh, no. We'll, we'll go here. Here we go. Free kill. The unyielding defenders. Who are on the offense. Yeah. 66 combat strength. And let's go ahead and move in. With all of our excellent, excellent, powerful battle suits. And next turn. Here we wanted to build that magram. got the crawler coming in just three turns. Alright, we need this, I believe. Again, upkeep our... Uh, what do you call them? The hollow matrixes. Let's see how the war is doing on this front. Alright, so Tiangong is going to put a lot of pressure on us. We might lose some of our battle suits, but unlikely that all of them will go down. We got an intersect, intercepting needle jet right there. Very good. But we actually don't have the rest of our guys available for interceptions. Look at that. Oh, so strong. They had to hit this thing with like eight things, and they might kill him though. They didn't kill him with eight attacks? That's insane. They didn't kill him with eight attacks. Wow. That's nuts. 
this battle suit wave is just gonna be unstoppable. Oh, I forgot to strike down here, that's right. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to do a coordinated strike that would annihilate my enemy. Silly me. Move this guy in here, right there. Definitely hit down here, hold on. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Let's go ahead and get a strike from Iron Ravagers out first. But then definitely shoot him. We're just gonna fortify with this guy. And... I'm not afraid. Finally we get our Institute quest! Finally! There we go, free technology. Oh my goodness, how long I waited for that. Social dynamics, here we come. Culture and fashion are racked by pointless ideological wars. I love, I just, oh my goodness, I'm so happy to have gotten that. Alright, there we go. They hit this guy how many times? Just so many times. Oh my goodness, he's, oh my god. He has zero kills, but he just took a bajillion damage. We're going to give him free heals and... Then we we could probably heal up right now, and we'd heal, I believe, 25 in enemy territory. Um, or we could plunder the trade route, and then probably pillage. Oh wait, what? You're oh I'm not at war with him, I guess. So I could pillage this though. How much did that heal us for? 20. Um, and then we can just strike in. Yeah. Wow. Definitely move in white demons. We can't really get past these franco Iberian guardians. Uh, move these guys in, though. Rough squad can certainly help. Fire on them. And let's go ahead and eat their... Uh, their punishers here. Definitely clear out their ability to do some damage. We could go up here too and take out Philo too, or we could keep pressure on Tiangong. Um, I'm not opposed to keeping pressure on Tiangong. We can do some really solid strikes here. And yeah, this is a good one. We're not gonna kill him, but we can probably take him out with our needle jet right here. Yeah, let's do a double strike. There we go. Just like that, I believe that Lancer will be gone. There we go. We dropped him. And our battle suit could fire, but he would be in range of a lot of the stuff that our last uh, guy was, you know, he was shown untimely. So maybe we want to just stay where we are for now, or we could shift up and take out Philo too before we bother pushing any farther in. And again, we already have a guy in range of Tiangong, this one, so if they do focus fire him, he'll die, so we kind of just need to kill these dudes. Let's send this one in then. Goodbye, enemy battlesuit. We have super soldiers that are 20% alien, 80% superhuman. And we could move in too and take out this guy, actually. Wow. Uh, actually, now that we're flanked, we can't. But maybe if we do another needle jet drop, maybe then we can. Yeah, looks like we could. Uh, or alternatively, what we could do is hit first and then. But I want to preserve the damage as much as I can. So let's instead hit this one right here. See if you can't run across the river and obliterate him now. So strong! Super soldiers for the win! Build us a mag rail. I'm not opposed. We have needle jets here. We could probably bomb this guy back into the Stone Age. Maybe get some soldiers to block his advance. We can also move here. Definitely have Dark Guard Fire. Expert level veterancy. 
mortar out of those tanks, and yet our needle jet's continuing to bomb. But that looks like the end of the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I am enjoying this super soldier rush into the PSE territory. They, they have been asking for it all game, and here we are giving it to them. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe. We got content coming every single day, and see you guys then. Take care.